Hey guys, what is up? Red Pair Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well. And have another great day. In this video, I want to show you guys the 24 hour profits exactly for this S19J Pro. And this is the 104 terahash model. And yeah, I've been mining with it for the past couple days. And so I basically just want to show you guys how much Bitcoin this thing has mined. And we'll see how much that is worth as of now, as of recording. And before I do that, I want to show you guys the temperatures and also some sound decibel ratings. I guess the loudness of this ASIC miner in my garage right now because it is extremely loud where I live. It's also heating my place, which is really nice because it's basically winter time right now. So yeah, look at that. As I'm actually, I'm talking right now. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second. So yeah, about 60. 65, 66 decibels around there. This S19, as of right now, in terms of the temperatures in my garage, it's pretty good. Like the ambient right now is around 78, 79 Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius for my non-American friends. And you can see here the, let's see, the inside inlet temperature and outlet temp. Now this is the air coming in and then the air coming out in terms of uh, Celsius, all right? So yeah, this thing, it's pumping out a decent amount of heat right now, but it's, it's heating my garage and also heating my place, which is really nice. So it's doing good, but the, the fan speed I wanted to show you here is not even at 100%, okay? Which I believe is 8,000 or 9,000 RPM. All right, so the first fan here, fan one and fan two, is at about 4,300 RPM. And the fan three and fan four speed is between, yeah, 5,000 and 5,100 RPM. And I believe those are for the back two and this is for the front two. So you can see, I mean, the temperatures of this is, it's pretty good. And uh, it says normal according to the web GUI here, chip state. So the temperature should be pretty good. Obviously, this is not in a industrialized manner. This is just at home. I'm mining in my garage and <laughs> it's definitely, definitely uh, seeping through outside. I can definitely hear this through my garage. Hopefully I don't get a noise complaint or anything. But anyways, guys, enough about that. I will see you in the computer. I will show you the results that I'm mining on Poolin and uh, I wanna talk about some other stuff as well about Bitcoin mining. All right, so I'll see you guys on the computer. All right, so here we are. I am in my pool and account. As you guys can see, the last 24 hours, it has been at around average 103.72 terahash on this S19J Pro uh, 104 terahash model. And you can see here we are, yeah, you can see the numbers here. It's been true to basically what is advertised on this S19J uh, in terms of the terahash, which is 104, which is cool. So here are the earnings, all right? This is what you guys came here to see today. And so I've been mining for the past couple days now since November 20th. But realistically, we have two days of 24-hour profits here and so looks like we got uh, 57,170 satoshis here the next day on the 22nd we got 57,533 satoshis so we're gonna take just let's just take the la last latest number here earnings of uh, into my pool account here so that's how much BTC we mined in the past 24 hours okay then we're gonna go to coin gecko we're gonna paste that number in and according to CoinGecko, that is worth about $32.47 USD, all right? And it is November 22nd as of recording this video, just to let you guys know as the reason why I mentioned that is that, you know, profitability and numbers change all the time. And I do want to explain that talking about the network difficulty, network hash rate, 
price of Bitcoin, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so but before I do that, I just wanted to revert back to ASIC miner value and also what to mine. So just talking about okay, so I made about thirty two dollars and forty seven cents. Let's go to what to mine for example. And so at ten cents kilowatt hour, which is roughly my cost per kilowatt hour, is you know calculating those and minusing out the electric. You can see here I should be profiting only about twenty five dollars and fifty five cents a day. Now you can see the revenue in BTC every twenty four hours here shows thirty two ninety one. All right, so how close is that to what CoinGecko tells me here in terms of how much I mined on pool in? And to be honest, that's pretty close, 3247. So maybe we are, maybe, you know, uh, what to mine is about 40 cents ahead, 40 or 50 cents ahead, showing what I have here on CoinGecko versus what to mine. So I thought that was something that I, I'd show, but generally it's the same. It's really close. One thing I wanted to touch on though is Bitcoin Cash and DGB. Uh, SHA-256 algorithm, uh, th these two coins here, that uh, looks like it shows that what to mine that these are a little bit more profitable. So what if I change instead of mining Bitcoin that I mined, I don't know, DGB or Bitcoin Cash and, you know, I can get extra couple bucks out of it. I don't know. If you guys want me to do that test, let me know down below. And then let's show ASIC miner value here. So if I go to S19, which uh, there are... A lot of different models of S19Js and S19 Pros and all that kind of stuff here. And uh, you guys probably heard of the recent announcement of their new one, the S19 XP. Okay, 140 terahash at about pretty much the same power consumption as uh, all these other ones here. So this one is going to be a little bit more efficient than the other models here. But anyways, the 104 terahash, according to what to mine here, and if I go to 10 cents kilowatt hour at the bottom electricity cost, it shows that I should be making $30 a day. Now, I take ASIC Miner Values numbers here with a grain of salt. I like They're okay, but they're not exact. And these numbers definitely do fluctuate all the time. So this is actually one good thing about ASIC Miner Value. I do like their... Uh, they showed like the daily profitability of like a like an ASIC miner any ASIC miner that you go to their website I'm not sponsored I'm not affiliated it just shows here generally since like August up until now you can see you know November 4th $33 a day uh, October <laughs> October 21st $51 a day so I bet you know this is all correlating with the price of Bitcoin and the difficulty and the prices of all these fluctuate all the time right but anyways, going down, guys, this website showing, you know, all the different parts where to buy. Now, some of you guys are asking in the last video I did to set up an ASIC miner, like the S19J Pro. You guys were asking, like, Red Panda, where do you buy these things? Like, where can you buy them for cheap? And, like, let me tell you, like, right now, it's not cheap to buy these things. Maybe, you know, maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago, a, uh, let's see, an S19J used to cost maybe... I think four thousand, five thousand dollars at most, like a year and a half ago when Bitcoin was way below sixty grand, right? And now you can see these ASIC miners are well over ten thousand, twelve thousand now, uh, thanks to Crypto Miner Bros. By the way, they sent me the S19J Pro 104 terahash, and they sell it for thirteen thousand right now, which is really high. It's a lot. So now this is a good i guess segue into talking about you know if you should be buying one of these for mining or not and you know i personally i don't know what the future holds but in previous history here in the past i would say since may as china actually banned bitcoin mining and maybe some of you guys heard about that but the network hash rate did drop substantially from like i think 180 exahash all the way down to like 80 exahash or something so that is a huge drop in hash power and so that that was a lot of mining farms in china turning off but you can see since then there's been a big rebound in terms of the hash rate coming back online now it hasn't been like an instant turn on so maybe there are mining farms in china that maybe migrated over actually i've heard of this they a lot of them have migrated migrated over to north america other parts of the world that have you know cheaper electric and obviously no ban of mining bitcoin in the respective location wherever they moved so you can see now though we're hovering about 150 159 exahash 
Okay, as of uh, recording. So November 22nd of 2021. All right, so as time goes on, I'm sure there are going to be more Bitcoin mining farms turning on. There's definitely a lot of people that have interest in buying these ASICs. And <laughs> they're a pretty penny, right? Like I said, during the bear market of Bitcoin, when uh, Bitcoin was uh, back in 2018, 2019, 2020 even, that the S19s, like the S19 Pro, uh, the 100, even the 110 terahash, the Antminer S19 Pro, 110 terahash, May 20 of 2020, this, I remember, that price of this was actually like around thirty-five to $5,000. And that would have been the best time to buy these ASIC miners because it, it, the price was cheap. Obviously, the profitability wasn't there. They were making like, I think, less than $10 a day, $5 a day, $3 a day or something. And then, of course, you guys know what happened. The price of Bitcoin started going up and up and up and up and up. And so the hash rate hasn't gone up as much as the price of Bitcoin, if that makes sense, because the difficulty of Bitcoin it just hasn't gone up to garner all of the profitability on Bitcoin price, which is today. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, 56,000. Yeah, it's been dropping, right? It's been dropping as of recording, but it's still relatively high compared to the network hash rate and difficulty. And so it's a great time to Bitcoin mine now, yes. But that is all just all these numbers that you're seeing, all the variables of the price, difficulty, hash rate is what constitutes for the profitability that you are seeing on what to mine or ASIC miner value, okay? So it's nice right now, and so you should just understand your risk if you're going to be buying into ASIC mining right now that, you know, it seems like it's a pretty high time to be buying into ASIC miners like this for this much money. But if you believe that profitability could be, you know, the profitability could stay very well stay for the next year. Maybe two years. We have no idea. We have absolutely no idea, right? It's going to depend, like I said, on the price and how many more of the of these ASIC miners come online the network, right? How many more people around the world are creating mining farms? And that's just going to raise the difficulty and thus everyone's going to get less and less Bitcoin. But again, if the price of Bitcoin keeps going up, then the dollar value, right? It, it's going to look nice, but you're going to be yielding less Bitcoin per se. All right, so... Anyways, guys, I think that's it. Let me know what you guys think of my 24-hour profits of this ASIC miner. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. But how long is it going to last? And I will keep you guys updated on a one-month profit video, maybe two months, three months, I guess all the way up until breaking even on at least 13 grand on this S19J Pro as I received it like a normal person. So we'll see theoretically how long it'll take to break even. Yeah, that'll be a good that'll be a good video series. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. And peace out.